Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayala, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And this is going to be like a, 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 a quick lesson, you know, due to the update that's of what's happening here in Italy. So as you can see, the, the article, this is an article posted today. So it says, Drove, the major, the mayor has decided second shampoo banned from hairdressers. So here in Italy, we're facing a, a, a crisis of water, okay? Here in Italy, we're facing a water crisis. We are also having region against region due to lack of water. And this is all part of the prophecies as written in the Bible. And those who are walking in the light, we can see that these are the things that are already being spoken about. These are the signs that are given of the end of this age, of the end of the rulership of the so-called white man Esau Edom that's in power right now. You know so I, I also heard that you know the same thing is going on in various parts of the united states america you know shortage of such a uh, shortage of water um let's just read through it says the drop emergency is frightening more and more the rationing of water to irrigate the gardens does not seem to be enough so now the administrations are running for cover as they can now you see in order for you to grow food you need water you need a series of things you know the land is cost because of the the wicked management of the so-called wicked esau edom the so-called white man that's in power right now his management is wicked you know there is something known as the shabbat of the land that's not being observed by this so uh, by this so-called white man esau edom that's in power you know he walks 24 hours on 24 you know day in day out no rest no shabbat no respect and you see there are lots of courses that are following the land right now in order for you to grow food you need manure you need um you need uh you need a lot of things you need water you need sunlight you you, you need a good weather so that you know the food can grow but now we have pests the, the 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 land is cost you know your your plants don't grow without manure without all these chemicals being added you know without these pesticides being added that's all the end of the day they're part of the things that you know that kill people that real fast you know that's because of the wicked management of the so-called white man esau edom that's in power and the land is cost now we don't even want to speak about manure that there is a shortage of manure which manure and the majority of the manure that's being supplied to the world comes from majority three countries russia ukraine and um and um what's the name is it georgia okay i believe you know someone can correct me if i'm wrong and now there is a war going up going on in that region meaning that you know first we don't have um the means to grow our foods now the most i also made uh this draft come up you know lands are drying up you have rivers that are drying up completely you know even the river euphrates is drying up the river euphrates is drying up i said in, in the prophecy that it, uh, the most is going to dry up the river euphrates to prepare um to prepare the soldiers against themselves the soldiers of esau edom for the war of amagadon okay so you see the most is moving and this is the time you really want to be praying for the most high yahweh shimmy Shai to have mercy on you in the days that are coming because now we're about to step into the the jacob's trouble 2.5 okay we just started saying the, the tip of the iceberg but you know we're about to step into the full jacob's trouble 
not to speak about the, the the monkey plague that's going on now here in italy it's been hyped like never before now um the the big c the big c is also being hyped all of a sudden they are all coming back okay so we are saying that this winter is really going to be a wicked winter man you know that winter like never before and you see um russia is doing everything um sorry um the rest of these nations are doing everything the people that have given their power to the beast the nato countries okay alongside with america and the mother of america the great britain they are all doing everything possible to make sure russia you know cuts the supply of gas and energy in order to have um, everyone on their news you know so they can they can tell you if you don't have that that's um m-a-l-k see that c-h-i-p in your in your in your shoulder in your hand you know on your forehead in which elon musk already brought that out you know if you don't have that thing you can you can't participate in the program you'll be cut out you can't get food you can't get your own rationing and all that thing you know so hey these are signs that the most High is putting out you see it says the drought emergency is frightening more and more the rationing of water to irrigate the gardens does not seem to be enough so now the administrator the administrations are running for cover as they can as in the case of castenazo it's a town of 16,000 inhabitants of the outskirts of Bologna, whose major, Carlo Gubellini, has also decided to turn off the taps in hairdressing and barber saloons, prohibiting the second washing of the heads of customer. And you see how ESO works. It's all a gradual process. Now, from cutting the water um, from, from the hairdressers, it's also going to get into your house. Oh, we need to we need to make sure that there is enough water to sustain the people okay so we're going to cut the water if you don't have this this on um, this karagma if you don't have this malk this chip if you don't have it you know uh, you, you you can't you can't you can't participate and get water you know we are all going to see this it's all a gradual process ESO needs total control in order for him to push that uh, that image of that new beast which is the 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 the, 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 the world uh, the new world order you know the nwo he said this is an absolute first time no mayor before has ever put a limit on the use of water for those who shampoo at the addresses but the situation is increasingly critical and therefore no one seems to have complained and why because this is the time of the end that's being spoken of the most High is raising up the bars every day by day okay because the um the, the the abomination of these people is growing man it's growing up to the sky man the abomination of these people is increasing day by day now we're seeing that the, the alphabets the, the 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 colorful people parade and others on all that thing you know it's getting higher than never before abominations are being pushed higher than never before so the most high is shortening the time and he can't wait to let his son Shai come back his son himself Shai cannot wait to come back and lay his hands on those that pierced him who are around this day as written in the book of, of revelation okay so let's get some real some quick scripture this is the book of isaiah 55 verse 6 it says, Seek ye Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forget, forsake, forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and we have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. He will abundantly pardon. So this is the time we really want to start setting our, our path straight, man. This is the time we want to start preparing. You know, I did a lesson the other time, you know, speaking about spiritual preparation. So, um, well, we have different kinds of preppers in the world, people that are building, you know, nuclear bunkers and all that thing. But if the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is not with you, all that is just nothing, man. We are also preppers, but our prepping first comes spiritually, you know. You need to set things straight with the most high. Start begging for mercy right now. You know, seek him right now that he's been is is able to be found because Esau still has um still has this information going around. But a time is coming, as written in the book of Amos 8:11, that 
that these informations are going to be cut off, you know. And this, this information, which is this truth, the greatest treasure on earth right now, you know, the greatest treasure, this truth, is going to be the stability of the time of those who make treasure of it. Okay. Now, let's get a quick um, scripture on famine. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 6. I mean, this is what's going on right now. He said, And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hot not the oil and the wine. Okay? This, this is speaking right now, and it's going to speak even more in the days we are about to, uh, to step into. You know? A measure of wheat for a penny. That penny represents a day wage, a day's wage. Now Esau is about to introduce the 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 um, what's the this thing, the global income. What's that word? Um, hey, someone can put it on the comments. You know, I don't I don't really have the term right now. It's a global income in which they they pay the people. You know, these robots are going to take over your jobs, going to take over everything. You know, and Esau we have to sustain you, giving you a, a, an income every month. You know. And this is exactly what they want to do. Turn you to their baby, you know. Feeding up the breast of the system. So many people are going to fall for this because uh, the, 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 the currency is going to crash. You know, unstable money, fiat currency. All this thing is going to crash in order for them to introduce the new currency, which is the CBDC. You know, the digital currency. And the most high is paving way for all these prophecies, but the people are blind. They're not seeing. You know, people are being carried away because in these days, there are lots of enchantments, lots of bread and circuses. I can tell you, you know, I said that in one of my lessons that I did lately, the job that I do, we supply certain things for all these shows. And at now, you have these shows rampant all over the places, man. Each city has a show almost every day on night, man. You know, this is bread and circus to keep you, you know, unworried. To, 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 to keep you, you know, distracted from what's really happening. And people will get into this winter and all of a sudden they'll find themselves with boom, with everything right in front of them, you know. That's because they never prepare themselves. This is the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 4.16. It says... No, this is not the scripture that I need, but, you know, it was going in, man. Oh, praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. But this is what I need. He says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by way and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. Hey, these words are sharper than any two double-edged sword that you have. You know, they cut in two different ways, man. This is about to come again. The most High is going to give, is going to cut the staff of bread. People are drinking water anyhow they like. A time is coming in which you have to measure how much you drink. Because there is not going to be enough. Hey, remember, Italy is a land... You know covered with many water and all that you know we have different rivers different streams you know we have beaches and all that thing and we're running out of water why because the most high yaw bashim shai controls everything so hey the, the signs are coming out you know like i said in one of my last videos you know when noah was teaching it was telling the people that um uh it was going to rain and a flood was going to overtake the world you know at that time there was no rain and the people just you know they laughed at him you know they, they make mock of him you know because they didn't believe they never they never saw rain because at that time the most would make a mist come from the ground to 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 give nutrients to the to the to the fruits and plants you know and it's the same thing that's going on because when these people started seeing the drops of the rain, they started realizing that, man, this man said what he said this thing and it's happening, you know? So now we have these drops of rain that are falling right now. 
you know these drops are these prophecies that have been seen right now draft you know lawlessness people's hearts being cold you know we're seeing ways that are being paved for the MOTB, uh, MOTB, CBDC, you know. We're seeing all these things. These are the first drops. And the wise ones are going to take heed of this. Because this time around, the Most High opens the door for those who repent, you know. So it's not only going to be only one man and his family that's going to be saved this time around. It's going to be a whole lot of jakes that are going to be saved. The 100, 144,000 and a huge multitude of jakes are going to be saved, you know. But first, you need to seek repentance. This is the time you have to seek this repentance before it gets too late. These prophecies are being shown right now. Wickedness is at its highest. Wickedness is at its highest, man. We can't stress on this. So, hey, I just wanted to bring this quick information out. You know, draft alarm in Italy. As a matter of fact, the region I live, they're having uh, a kind of, you know, uh, they're having uh, a kind of, um, how should I put it, a beef with the region the brother Kalam lives. Because the brother Kalam, the region where he lives, they have enough water. And the region where I live, they're running out of water. And they're calling on that region because they need water. And that region is just turning their back on my region. So you see, it's all going to, it's all going crazy, man. And truly, really, this year we haven't seen that much rain. It's the most high Yahweh Shimia Shai doing all this. Using Esau, Edom, the so-called white man to manipulate weather and doing all different kinds of it's the most high doing everything. The most high is behind everything. That's why you need to fear the most high Yahweh Shimia Shai. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. And on to the next one, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh Shemiel Shai.